right now on Two Conk Sport Fishing TV. Captain Jack's joined by Mark Smith, President and CEO of the Smith & Wesson Company. Hope we get up and show them a good time getting some fish. And today's trip was actually a prize for some giveaway winners who'd won by bidding and generously donating to the Light Foundation. Hell yeah, nice work, dude. There you go. Yeah. The plan is to get on some yellowtail snapper and then to switch gears to some bigger and harder fighting fish. There we go, got him. Yeah. Woo! All righty, this one here going up on the gram. Oh! He's like, he's like, I think I got something. He's like, I like real, good real. My name is Captain Jack Carlson. This is my tackle shop. And this is my fleet of boats that make up two conch sport fishing charters here in Marathon, Florida Keys. I work with my sons, Austin, Tucker, and JC, and my whole crew of top-notch captains. Dude, this is real deal, son. This is real deal. Woohoo! Got him. My wife even has her own store right down the street. And if there's one thing I've learned after three decades on the water, you never know what's gonna happen next. This segment is brought to you by Conley Rod. Conley Rods are the best. Screaming reels. Take them down, Flair. Yeah, you can't beat these Conley Rods. Conley Rods, the finest custom rods on the planet. Captain Jack and Captain Jordan are at the marina wrapping up getting gear ready when the guests roll in. Good morning. What's up, guys? How are we doing? Jordan. Nice to meet you. How's it going? How's it going, Josh? Jordan, pleasure to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Good, man. You guys ready for it? How's it going? Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How you doing? I'm Mark Smith, the president and CEO of Smith & Wesson. And uh, we're here down in the beautiful Keys with a bunch of uh, folks who uh, bid on this, uh, this trip for charity, for uh, the Matt Light Foundation. They work with uh, underprivileged youth to teach them uh, life skills, and these folks here have been generous enough to, uh, to donate some money for, the, for that charity, and uh, we're, we're happy to have them down here to show them a good time, get them some fish. Alrighty guys, well, welcome here to Two Conks and Isla Bella. Congratulations. Uh, today, we're gonna do a little bit of, of uh, fishing in the ocean, and then we've got some plans to go head out there in the bay too. We're gonna try and keep it as calm as we can and some best action that we can. So you guys ready for it? Yeah. All right, jump on. All right. Just help yourself here. Here you go. On. And then just watch your heads on here. Got it. Yep, got it. We're hopefully anticipating, uh, you know, world record breakers in, in every category. No, just kidding. Uh, at least get out there and, and have some fun with them. And, uh, you know, some of these guys I don't think have ever been out in the ocean fishing. So just get them, get some tight lines and, and, uh, and show them a good time. So guys, we got a nice, sunny, slightly breezy day. It's a little cool out here, a little chilly for the, for the guys from Florida, but nonetheless got a nice beautiful day. So gonna head out there, probably uh, anchor up on the edge of the reef, try to get some action, try to get some yellowtails, get dinner covered. And then it uh, looks like we might head on the other side of the island out to the Gulf, try to catch some bull sharks, some goliath groupers, and hopefully some cobias show up. Either way, it's definitely gonna be a competition. We're definitely gonna have uh, more fish and a better day than that other boat. They got the chicks, we got all the boys, so it's gonna be a good day for the boys. pinfish on the bottom and you're just gonna feel like thump 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 and then you're just gonna feel one bigger pull and then once you just feel them start pulling that rod tip down you're just gonna start to really you got a circle hook so you don't need to set the hook at all it's gonna hold our bait on the surface it's gonna make it act as natural as possible on the surface and they're not even gonna see any line in the water Always leave seven feet of line out. That way there, you just lift the fish straight up. Yeah, and then don't get it. But... So we just threw the anchor, got set. We're sitting here just chumming away, throwing some oats, hopefully trying to raise some of these uh, yelltail snappers. 
see if we can nab a few, maybe pick off like a mutton snapper for dinner, and then uh, get out of this rough water and go out into the bay and catch some bull sharks and cobias. So the quicker Clay starts catching these yellowtails for us, the quicker we get out of here. <laughs> This segment is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Mercury Marine, go boldly. First up, Captain Jordan wants to get on some steady action for everyone. And one of the best fish to target for that is yellowtail snapper. Plus, they're really tasty too. It's really windy right now. So with the wind, I like to keep my rod tip pointing pointed down, and um, that's just gonna eliminate that wind picking your line up and disturbance in the line. And all you're gonna do, you're just gonna kinda keep feeding it off as the current flows, and once your line starts flying off, you're just gonna close your bail and start reeling. Any hook set or anything? No hook set. They're swimming so fast most of the time, they're gonna hook themselves. So all you gotta do is just start reeling, and they'll be swimming against it. But it's gonna be a little tricky. What I like to do is just stand in the corner, and like he said, I'm just gonna take it, kind of cat, kind of cast it out. Just try to get past those blue parrotfish. You see the fish down there? There's a little school back there. Yeah, just try to get past them, and just kind of keep feeding it out. There's current, so your bait's gonna keep flowing away. You want to use the current to get back to the school of fish. So just keep feeding it out, and eventually you're going to feel it starting to get like ripped out a little faster. Once you feel that, like I said, just close the bail on the reel. And it's going to take, no, don't, no, don't set the hook, don't jerk. Just close the bail. This is the bail. Um, right now it's open line line out. Just keep your rod tip slow and start ripping out. And just close your bail. And you got to close your bail real fast to come tight. So it's, we're swaying a lot, so we're gonna be going like back and forth. So just reach past the motors and kind of work them towards your side. Once you get, once you see them, your rod tips almost parallel with the water. Leave about six inches of line out. Take that fish and just swing it to yourself or swing it to me. You can see I left roughly the length of the rod out, just so you have room and line to work with um, when we're dehooking these fish and everything. This is the yellowtail snapper. Kind of what we're targeting, try to load up on these. Is there a minimum length? Uh, 12 inches. Um, it's probably about 13 inches, just legal size. So try to load up on these. These are actually the most sought after fish we have down here. Yeah. The most commercialized fish. This fish in a restaurant is about 25 to 30 bucks, crazy enough. Goes for about $10 a pound. We got good, good conditions to catch them right now, so try to catch like 20, 30 of them. And then uh, start targeting other stuff after we catch a couple of these yellowtails. Don't ever stop it, yeah. um, but sometimes you have to assist it. So. Hey, real, 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 real. Just real it in. All right, swing him straight in. Lift straight up. Oh, nice yellow tail. Yellow tail machine. Oh, yeah. Producing a couple of them. So you saying, like, don't even finger it, just let it go? Yeah, here. Like, what I like to do is hold the rod like this, hold your rod tip close to the water and I like to like kind of grab it in between my thumb and my index finger. Yep. That way it's a big area that you can cover. Just keep feeding it out. The current's gonna slowly take it. The wind's gonna mess you up a little bit, but if you keep your rod tip close to the water, you're gonna feel like the line going out kind of quick because of the waves. But the best thing is to kind of just be patient and let it get like ripped out really fast. Once it does, just close the bail and then reel fast. Don't set the hook. It's like the most important thing. Also, you can see all those blue parrot fish down there and stuff. Yep. Yeah. So you just take it and like give it a little, you don't really have to necessarily cast it. It's like a little flick of your wrist up. Yeah, exactly. Coming up, he's tailing, tailing. Get a bait. Good. Yeah, with that, so you want to treat it like, like it's a rubber band. You want to lift up and then reel up your slack. You want to crank pretty fast so you keep his head turned. 
You want to give him no, like, not a chance to turn his head and go back down, because ideally, what happens, keep feeding it out faster. Ideally, what happens is like, that would be like a mutton snapper, a bigger snapper, and he's going to want to I don't make a box. sandwich and a half right here. You just want to like, pull away. Exactly, just lift up slow and then reel down fast. Closed captioning is brought to you by Furuno Marine Electronics. You got that Furuno radar on. I think we're marking birds already. This is what you're looking for right here. They're busting, they're busting, they're coming in, they're coming in. That's got to be the biggest black fin you've ever got. Furuno Marine Electronics, when you're serious. Tukonk Sport Fishing TV is brought to you by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Gill's Performance Apparel, built for the outdoor nation. Furuno Marine Electronics, when you're serious. Yellowfin, build your legacy. This, your moment, go ahead and own it. this segment is brought to you by Blue Wave. Got to hit them with the Blue Wave, man. Got to keep this boat clean. Tomorrow's another day and another crew. Clean your boat, sustain the ocean. Back over with Captain Jack and his half of the crew, the game plans to try and get on some big kingfish, which are great fighting fish. So here on my haywire twist, coming number four, number five wire, number six wire for kingfish, it don't matter. Got my little swivel. Always leave enough little tag in so I got enough to work with. And I take it here, I pinch it a little bit, make a little U, pinch it to where it's tight, wrap it around, and then you just take it. I only wrap it one time and then I do close 90s. That's all you need right there. Come here, come here, come here, you yeah. grab it. Okay, now, now keep your rod up nice and easy, not nice and easy. What is it? You eat it right off the surface. Okay, can now come to the back. Like, come to the back. C come out and around them motors. Step this way. Extend it out, help them. Kite. Excuse me, walk backwards. Yeah. Nice right. and easy, right, nice right. and easy. There you go. All right, I got it. I got Here. it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. go. I got this. I got this. Yeah. An, an, oh, king, oh, king, 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 big king. Hold this. Hold this. Yeah. You you're on the chum bag. You're on the chum bag. Not anymore. Everybody, reel up. Now get that big rod. Walk this way. Walk, walk to your left. Here, here, here. Hand me this rod. Hand me this rod. I'm gonna cut that off. Now walk up there. Okay. All right. Okay. Go easy, go easy, and don't lift the fish out of the water. Okay. There you go. Yeah. yeah! That's what we're talking about. Nice! Woo! Good job. Hold that one up for a picture. It was literally just like this. That's it, right there. And that's where I ate it, right there. And it boiled. It boiled. And then you're in the right spot at the right time. Where's you know, busy doing other it's things in here. Girls. Well, it, and, and, and it's a and it's a kingfish that has a lot of teeth, and that's on mono. So you know, we're trying to, you know, be careful with it. And then it got, yeah. and then it got caught in the chum bag. You know, so a lot, a lot, of everything lot went of every, yeah. wrong quick. You know, yeah. but everything ended up right. So that's what counts. That was amazing. Right on the motors. Yeah. So this time of year, these kingfish out here in the Gulf. There's a bunch of them out here this time of year when the colder fronts push through. They come in in schools, be from this size 20 to even 50, 60 pounds, even 70 pounders, but it's just a really fun fish to catch out here in the Gulf, and it's a blast. Hard fights. Perfect. Gotcha. Awesome, guys. Pretty work, pretty work. Back on Captain Jordan's boat, Paul gets hooked into something interesting. There you go, lift up slow, and then lift up. Dude. Lift up slow. There you go. Lift up and then reel down. Don't just crank. Lift up, gain your Lift up slow and reel down. It's alright, it's alright. Raise your rod tip slow. There you go. Lift up and then crank down. Don't do both at the same time. There you go. Now reel down. There you go. You got your it's like a rubber band. So lift up, stretch it, and then reel up the slack. There you go, reel down. There you go, nice work. Lift up slow. Oh. There you go. Real blue, real blue. Big blue. Exotic, exotic. Exotics, exotics. Pounder. Oh, 
this guy? Oh, go around the bubble. Cuban mutton, Cuban mutton. Oh, oh, oh got him, got him. Open up your bail for me. Exotic. Exotic. Muncher, muncher, muncher. That's a midnight blue parrotfish. Yeah, it's, they're, they're protected. Um, we don't eat them here. Some places they do eat them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, we end up throwing them back. Yeah, they're like human. Look at those teeth. Yeah, they're like human like teeth. Look at that. Kind of wild. They munch on coral. Right, they create sand. Perfect release. Hey, that was a fisherman's release right there. Good job. Good job. Let's go. Good job. Good job, buddy. This segment was brought to you by Aquarium Encounters. Immerse yourself at Aquarium Encounters. This segment is brought to you by Gills. Let me tell you what, if you haven't got your gills on yet, you gotta get it. That right there is what we call a diamond. Two, Two balls. balls! Gills Performance Apparel, built for the outdoor nation. Captain Jack and his crew were rocking and rolling on the kingfish, and it was showing no signs of slowing down. All right. Here, go, go, go ahead and take the other rod. Okay, he's gonna get it under control. Under control? Here. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. Good job. Got the bubble gaffs up there. Now come to the back here. Real, 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 real. All right, stay right there. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's foul hooked now. We tight, let's get up, we tight. Got him. Reel down, lift easy. Reel down, lift slow, lift slow, lift oh. Oh, That's okay, that's okay. Keep going, lift, lift, lift. There we go, Woo. got him. Yeah. Woo, way to go team. All right, that a girl. He went for that jig, just missed it. Caught him in the skin. Got him. Nice. We'll take it. We will take it. All right. Way to go. All righty. This one here is going up on the gram. Pretty work, guys. Nice. All right. Another one for the box. Yeah, that one's down. So you're, oh, 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 right here. Right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's another one. Yeah, another king. Go, go, go easy, go easy. Down low. Yeah, yeah, now get the gap. Get Come the on, gap. Tugger. Okay, we're caught up here. All right, there you go, there you go. Get ready. Get ready, Tuck. Lift, 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 lift. There you go. go, all right. Got him. Another one on, a, now watch the teeth, watch the teeth. There you go, right there on the side of the boat. That's the secret spot. There you go, you can pull your right to that way. Perfect. Good job, that thing's crazy. Right there. Yeah, right, Flap yeah, and right Tuck. next to the boat. Boom! Another one bites the dust. Another one down, another one down, another one bites the dust. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. Another one bites the dust. So it was a little rough out there, so I uh, decided to come back uh, over to the bay side, see if we can switch up our tactics, maybe see if the Kobe is gonna hang out with us today. So we'll give this a shot. It's still a little rough out here. Current smoking into the wind. It makes it a little choppy out here in, in the bay, but we'll, we'll see what Mother Nature has in store for us. Real fast, real fast, real fast, real fast. Keep rolling, keep rolling. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Don't stop. Keep rolling. Oh, a little shark. Keep rolling him in. Grab the bubble blade neck, Cap. Hold on there. Oh, one side. Oh, grab the gap, Cap. Grab the neck, grab the neck. Oh. 
Keep rolling real fast, real fast. Oh, oh my god, pump fake. Oh, grab the gas, grab the gas, grab the gas. Oh! Nice work. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got him! That's what we came here for, dude. He's like, he's like, I think I got something. He's like, I'm like, real, dude, real! Hell yeah, nice work, dude. Got him, got him, Cap! Yeah. Kind of grab his tail. There you go. Nice fish, man. It's just a legal one. It's probably about like 34, 35 inches. But uh, yeah, man, he's staying straight at the boat and he woke up in the last second and started jumping, man. It's pretty sick getting some nice jumps out of it. Beautiful fish, man. This time of year we get these cobies in, in the Gulf migrating and stuff. Very good table fare. Even better fight. Nice job, man. Nice. Well, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> Not bad for a windy and cold day out in the water, but with the weather starting to pick up, it was time to head back in and call it a day. Ow, got him. <laughs> so cute. Alrighty guys, well, I tell you what, it's been a pretty epic day considering the conditions. It's a little chilly, a little rough, but you know what, we got some quality fish, kingfish, cobia, some yellowtails, we fished the ocean, the golf, so you guys got the best of both worlds. I tell you what, man, thank you guys for your support, supporting the cause with these guys right here with Mark. And uh, man, we can't thank you guys enough. And hopefully you guys will come back. And thanks again for fishing with the two conks. Thank you. You got it. Anytime. Good job, guys. All righty. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's go.